I'm fine, thank you very much. How are you? I'm very well. It sounds like you're quite busy, my friend. Out and about, obviously, you've got to do a little bit of moving and shaking, haven't you, when you're in this uh, field of yours? Uh, well, yeah, it's uh, just coming to the end of, uh, of a very busy night. It's been the, the launch night of By Art Fair and the, the Manchester Contemporary. We're, we're just topping up the numbers, but we think we've had record, record numbers through the door and record art sales as well. We've had some really big pieces being sold, which is fantastic. Manchester's gone mad for art. Well, talk to me more about uh, what we can experience at the Old Granada Studios this weekend. Oh, well, it's a, it's, a, it's a rich and multifaceted feast, to be honest. There's all sorts of things. There's about 100 exhibitors here, galleries, individual artists. Um, they're representing the work of about 3,000 uh, 3, pieces of art altogether from wow. hundreds and hundreds of different artists. So there's something every price point from £50 up to £10,000, £15,000. There's something at literally every price point but it's not just about buying art that's fundamentally what we're here for but there's a lot more as well we've got art classes going on there's workshops there's talks there's a conference we've got fantastic food and drink by a couple of young food entrepreneurs an operation called bistro which is brilliant you can have a glass of wine whether you decide whether you have fallen in love with a certain piece or not um so it's it's just non-stop it's a you know if art is your thing or you think art might be your thing You've got to come down here. There's so much to do. And, uh, you know, it warms the heart. It's a visceral experience and it's really, really intoxicating. It's addictive. Tom, is it a family thing? Are the kids allowed to come as well? They are indeed. That's a very good question. Yeah, we actually have um, there's some works here by um, children's illustrators, which I think the kids will absolutely yeah. love. And we even have uh, special classes on for the kids as well. They can come and do little um, workshops with print and sponge and stuff like that. So there's, there's lots of kids' activities. We're not scared of push chairs. There's plenty of room down here so the kids can come. And to be honest, I've got two boys. I've dragged them around all the galleries, all the fairs. I think it's the best thing that you can do, really. I think your kids should experience art at a young age. Where did this idea come from, Tom? Why did, why did, why did you start all this up? Uh, there's, a very simple, uh, there's a very simple answer to that. It was a pure selfishness, really, because I, I wanted to try and buy some art, proper art. You reach a point in life where you want to own a proper piece of art. And um, I couldn't believe how difficult, as a, someone from Manchester, it was to buy art up here. I think there was only about three galleries in the city centre in Manchester, of wow. all places. Yeah. And I spoke, to, I spoke to some guys in the art world down in London, and they said to me, there's no galleries because no one buys art in Manchester. And I said, well, that's, that's rubbish. I think no one buys art in Manchester because there's no galleries. You've yeah. got it the wrong way around. So someone had to be a disruptor. Someone had to shake it up and, and change the status quo. So on, on, on that flimsy premise, I, I decided <laughs> that I needed to launch an art fair. Just and, because and you did. wanted to buy some art. I like it. That's a great it, idea. Literally, literally, that is where it started. And, and everyone said it wouldn't work, particularly the kind of London-centric art world. They all said it would never work. And nine years later, here we are. We sold about three and a half million pounds worth of art over that time with the biggest contemporary art fair outside London. And we've shown that Manchester and the people in the Northwest absolutely love art. They just need an opportunity. They need, they need to come and see it. They need to engage with it. They need to make up their own minds about it. Mate, it sounds absolutely tremendous. And like you said, to encourage the youngsters as well to maybe come, have a little bit of a go and, and, and sample some it's, stuff. You never know, you might be inspiring the next important. generation. Well, that's what we're trying to do. You know, we're just trying to inspire the next generation. We're trying to make sure that artists in the north of England, gallerists in the north of England, that they can all survive up here. There has to be an ecology where they can all live and work and we can all enjoy art. We shouldn't feel that we get sucked down to London just because mm. we're in the art world. You know, it should be up here as well. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to create a very Mancunian counterbalance and, and show that there's a phenomenal art scene up here and Manchester's just booming. The art scene is incredible here. I was going to ask you that, and regarding comparisons to obviously everybody... If you want to develop any, I suppose, creative career, people always say, oh, you've got to go to London or you've got to go to a major yeah. city somewhere in Europe. Yeah. I class yeah. Manchester as a major city in Europe and therefore it's great that things like this now are on our doorstep where people don't feel pressured that they've got to up sticks and clear off. They can do it here yeah. where they've grown up and where, where, where it's earthy, where they can create what they know. Exactly, exactly. There's no reason that all the talent should be should be drawn to London, but you need to you need to provide an infrastructure. And we've seen in Manchester what a difference it's had with the ambition of the public institutions, with the Whitworth, with home opening, with mm. the Manchester International Festival, with Factory on the way. These all create jobs. They're not just not just kind of curatorial jobs or purely artistic jobs, but you need you need technicians, you need people to handle the install, you need everything. It brings a whole set of jobs you know, at every level for all types of people from all types of backgrounds. It's a massively inclusive thing. And that's the other thing. People talk about art being elitist, which is, you know, never going to go down well in Manchester. It's not elitist. That's absolute rubbish. 
everyone should engage with art, everyone should think about it, everyone should enjoy it, everyone should have an opinion. Mm. And we all can, but it just needs to be put in somewhere where people can find it and enjoy it. Obviously, there's a cost of the art this weekend, but is there a cost of the fair? Is there an admission charge or not? There, there is an admission charge, but it's it's four pounds, which you know, let's say, so it would barely buy you a pint of craft lager in the northern quarter nowadays. <laughs> so it's um, you know, we have to bring some money in to pay the bills, but we've of tried course. to keep it very, very accessible. We we don't want there to be a barrier to people coming down here. And there's, is there a time limit on people being allowed to be in there, or can they just come and go as they please? We're, we're open through till Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, we open at 11 each day. I think I'm right in saying that we shut at 6 tomorrow and uh, then 5 over the weekend. Okay. Um, but all the information's on the website. If you go to uh, buyartfair.co.uk, you'll find all the information that you need. Sounds awesome. Tom, thank you so much for your time. Good luck with it, mate. No, thanks so much. I really appreciate the time. And uh, get yourself down here as well. Get some time off. Come see the art. I might, I might practice me drawing. Right, see you in a bit. Oh, there you go. <laughs> all right, take care. Thank you. Bye-bye now.